Welcome back to Wit Acres. It is about late February and the pergola needs some cleaning up. It's a good day for it. It already froze out so all the vines are brittle and easy to break. So I'll be able to get up there and just rip them all off. And I also need to get this honeysuckle pruned up, the passion fruit vine pruned up, the red trumpet vine, and the silver lace vine over here needs pruned back as well. So whenever spring does come around and frost is finally done, they're ready to shoot out some explosive growth for the new season. There's so much work to be done around here. I'm very not ready for spring to be here, but I think someone else is. The daffodils are already sprouting and you can see the buds are already on there too. So they are coming early this year. Time to get to work. Puppy, you coming to help work? Jeez, come on. There you are. You coming to help. Got all my gourds here still drying out. One of them did rot out and break, but the rest of them are still good. I want to get these lifted up and put onto some racks in the barn so they can finish drying out. But first, I'm going to go around and get all these gourds that are still hanging cut down. breakfast yet I'm kind of actually starving I'm gonna go in and get uh, an apple or something you're muddy boy made this little area for our fresh produce I think it turned out pretty well and get an apple good boy come on so I need a ladder to get up on top of the pergola and I think it's in the barn so going for a walk subscribe to our Whitaker's Homestead channel. We just got some baby chicks and a lot more videos coming this season. I didn't find the ladder. Can't think of where it is. So, uh, gotta find another one. I'm gonna have to use this heavy wooden ladder. Nice. Wanted to bring you up here so you could see it from this view. We have the cattle panel all meshed, strapped it, stapled in here and covered all the way across so the gourds are well supported as they grow. Yeah, that is all the vines that I have up on top here. Got them all piled up and we're going to toss them off. Nailed it. 
Nice. Good job, puppy. And then we just have a few gourds that got stuck up on top. And I didn't get pulled down through in time. So we'll go ahead and try and keep my balance while filming. Throw them in there and uh, the vines should pillow the fall of the gourd so they don't break. If they're not broke already, but they seem pretty solid. Nailed it. And just a couple more. This one's a nice apple gourd here. That's a nice shaped apple. Yeah, I just have to do this once a year. This one's definitely rotted. I ain't gonna worry about this one. I just uh, throw it down with that other rod. Well, I guess all the vines are going to the compost anyway, so throw it in there. Now, not only am I cleaning up the gourd vines, I'm also cutting back. Where's my pruners? Got these new bypass pruners for a Christmas gift from my colleagues. There's the brand name if you can read that Japanese symbol. But uh, seem pretty nice. Durable Japanese steel. Very strong and very sharp. So what I do is have to prune these perennial vines that I have across the front of the pergola. Which I have, like I said before, silver lace on that corner. Honeysuckle, passion flower, and red trumpet vine on that far corner. So you have to keep these pruned back because any one of these any one of these perennial vines are big enough, strong enough, and vigorous enough to take over the whole pergola. And I don't want that. I just want them on the front for flowers. I want the gourds hanging from the top for uh, dangly decoration. And then I have the foliage growing up all those sides of the lattice. So that's how I want it. So I have to come up here and prune back all these perennial vines so they don't take over the top of the pergola. I'm going to get on that and uh, I'm not going to film it so I don't fall. Uh, I only got puppy out here watching out for me. Oh, pup. He doesn't like when I go up the ladder. He always has to watch me. Keep an eye on me. Keep me safe, Pop. All right, Pop, I'm coming down. Here. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you hold the ladder for me, buddy. All right, you can see we got the top of the pergola all nice and cleaned off, as best as it really needs to be. I just need to go around and grab the vines off of the lattice and any of the gourds that are on the ground that have broken or started rotting. I want to get those picked up and thrown into the wheelbarrow so I can take them down to the compost. As well as cutting back all of my pumpkin on a stick that I left out to, uh, I don't know, as decoration. I think any of the seeds in here probably wouldn't be viable. I don't know, what do you think? Might be able to dry those out and get some seeds off of them. Not really sure at this point. They, I would imagine I should have done that a lot sooner. We get those cleaned up. Get these gourds. Some of these are still heavy. Get these gourds uh, taken off. I think this one's a nice long dipper gourd there. All the dahlias are all out. And this will not be the dahlia bed light uh, this coming season. This is going to be something completely different. But uh, this is going to be a theme. I don't know. I think maybe like a jungle theme, tropical theme up here on the pergola. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe down below. Let me get all this cleaned up.
Okay, so I'm going to leave my red trumpet vine, passion vine, and the honeysuckle go for now because I really don't need to prune them. They're they're in a manageable size right now, so I'm not real worried about them. But my silver lace vine is one of the fastest growing vines in the world, so I want to get that one cut back. And even if it does hurt it being cut back a little bit early with the frost still coming, it's going to be just fine. It's still going to grow very vigorously next year. So I need to get it cut back because it pretty much took up all the room I have for it this year. And uh, it was just its first year or second. I don't know. I have to look back on my videos to see when I actually planted this. But it was July 4th or something, some year. Real tiny. Now it's huge. I'm going to cut that back with my DeWalt hedge trimmer and we'll see how it looks. So that worked out amazingly. Got that all pruned back nice and tight around the arch now and all the way down the column. Perfect little archway to walk through out to the new hangar. Now I'm not going to prune these like I said and you can actually see some of it still green. Green with some nice new growth. So I'm not going to prune this right now. I'll let it go through a couple more frosts. And then once I actually see up here start putting on a lot of nice new growth, I'll just go ahead and shape it with a hedge trimmer, buzz it down, and keep it down off the top. I'm going to cut it probably to that top header board right there and keep it down here. I'm actually thinking of expanding this one over a little bit, so we'll see how that goes if I can find a good trellis for that or make one. But then this passion, f passion flower, I don't even know how it's growing. It's growing kind of wild right now. So all I'm trying to do is keep it from going up to the top, like that one. I'm gonna keep it from going up to the top of the trellis. I don't need it going across the roof. I just want it to stay right here localized on this post. And then maybe I'll build some type of triangle fan type for it to get a little bit more space. And for this red trumpet vine on the corner here, you can see I constructed a little bit of a wire trellis here last year to get it to start going this way, but it outdid the trellis and it's way up there now. It actually popped off my light. I had to put that back up. But what I want to do is maybe make a stronger trellis right here to bring it out a little bit. I don't want to make another arch. I just want to put a trellis like coming out to give it room to climb this way and then it'll just drape off of the end there instead of trying to reach towards the roof of the pergola. That's my idea. But it looks nice out here now. Got the whole pergola cleaned up. Just gotta make a couple runs down to the compost. But other than that, this uh, pergola area is ready for spring, which is another nice thing to cross off the list. Got all my gourds there. I'm gonna run the better ones of these up to the barn, uh, up to the drying rack. Like these four there are the nice big ones, so definitely those ones and certainly some of the apples. Maybe even some of the, maybe all of them. Screw it, I'll just save all of them. Any of the ones I don't want to save, I'll just leave outside for decoration until they rot away. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want to see some more videos, subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. I'll be posting videos all up into the growing season and throughout as anything that I need to get done in the garden and seed starting, planting out, all those things. And then for the weekly garden tours, they are going to be on Whitaker's Garden Tours channel. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well and you'll get the weekly garden tours during the growing season. Like I said before, we just got some baby chicks. So go ahead and check out our Whitaker's Homesteading channel. That channel is going to have all the animals that I'm bringing onto property up into the barn. 
and anything else that has to do with the homesteading part maybe preserving cooking that'll all be on the homesteading channel and if you're still interested in seeing how the pond turns out because i definitely got delayed this winter with the ground freezing so once the ground thaws and i'm able to work back on the pond all those updates are going to be on the Woodacres aquatics channel so go ahead and subscribe to all of the channels that i have and you'll be able to get all the content coming out here at Woodacres. you can see me and echo on the next one thanks for watching